Okay. First of all, we are going to find, no matter what information they give us, we are going to find the gradient first. Once we have the gradient, we'll use this idea to find the B value. Because if we have A, I've got one parameter left to solve. If I have one parameter left to solve, all I need to do is substitute any point on the curve into my function where my A is already found. Okay, so there's one of two things that can happen. Either they can give you the gradient directly or indirectly. Okay, they might give me the, in, instead of saying that my line is parallel, they might tell me my line is perpendicular. So, for example, they give me a line and they say that the line that you are looking for is perpendicular. Uh, in other words, the two lines make a 90 degree angle. When that's the case, the um, gradient that you are looking for, let's call it A1, if I multiply that with the gradient that they gave you, the perpendicular gradient, the answer you will always get for perpendicular gradients is negative 1 when I multiply those gradients. Okay, let's look at an example for that one as well. In this question, what is the equation of the line that is perpendicular to the curve y is equal to x minus 4, all divided by 2, and passes through the point 1, 0? Now, remember what I said, that lines that are perpendicular, when they are multiplied, gives us an answer of negative 1. So to find the, uh, the uh, gradient of the line that we are perpendicular to, we must write it in the form y is equal to ax plus b. And to do that, I'm going to have to distribute the 2. And I see when I do distribute it, I find y is equal to x divided by 2 is the same as a half of x. Minus 4 divided by 2 is just minus 2. So I find that this gradient, let's call it gradient 2, is equal to a half. That means if I take my gradient, whatever it is, and I multiply it with a half, I must get the answer negative 1. Now to get A on his own, I must multiply both sides with a 2. That's how I get rid of multiplying with a half. I can multiply with 2, and I must do that on both sides. So half times 2 gives me 1. So a times 1 is just a, and negative uh, 1 times 2 is negative 2. That means that my gradient is negative 2, negative 2x plus b. And great stuff, we again have only one parameter left to solve, which means we can substitute any point. We substitute the point that when y is equal to 0, is when x is equal to 1. So we substitute that and solving for b we now find that b is then equal to uh, positive 2. So that my final equation, the equation of my line is negative 2x plus 2. That is the equation of this line.